Okay, so um, up until the last release, we required RIFCS schema XML for harvesting, as Jerry described. Uh, we've now made some modifications so that we can accept uh, metadata schemas other than RIFCS. And we've enabled this by having a crosswalk actually on the ANS registry side. So we construct the RIFCS for you uh, for ingest into the registry. Uh, we also have the ability, because we've had some um, metadata repositories that provide JSON data, we've implemented the ability to grab the JSON and then um, construct XML out of that. And then again, have an XSL transformation to construct RIFCS for ingest. In terms of protocols that we support, we've always supported the simple HTTP get of the RIFCS, and we continue to do so. Uh, and as many of you will be aware, over the OAIPMH protocol, which enables uh, functionality for marking for deletion and um, filtering by set text, etc. So now we have the ability over OARPMH to accept schemas other than RIFCS and again have a transformation on our side to construct RIFCS. We've also enabled the ability to harvest over the OGC compliant catalog service for the web interface, again accepting other metadata schemas and as long as there's a crosswalk then we're happy to accept it. And so here's an example, yeah. So for the JSON, accepting JSON, uh, we've implemented this specifically for an implementation of CCAN, where the API conforms with the RESTful API architecture. Uh, it's quite tightly coupled at the moment um, to that implementation, but in theory and in practice, we can easily extend this to accept any um, JSON objects over a similar architecture, just the protocol of um, obtaining all identifiers and then per identifier obtaining metadata and then again transforming this to the eventual RIFCS. Uh, this, as we know, so this was our common scenario previously where we've had a lot of GeoNetwork uh, contribute, or contributors using GeoNetwork metadata repositories. So in the past, we've had to have the transformation occur within the GeoNetwork implementation, but now we can do, as has often been the case, accept uh, and so you can accept marine community profile from the geo network and then transform it on our side. Uh, we've implemented a fair few crosswalks to start with, ranging from the most simple uh, to much more complicated for aggregating providers. Similarly, we can obtain the ANSIC over the catalog service for the web interface and transform it our side. Yeah, this was our scenario for the CCAN. So as I said, it's only CCAN at the moment, but it can potentially be any RESTful API implementation where we can get a list of identifiers and then obtain metadata per each. Again, we've constructed some default crosswalks here that we've used for the data.gov and state portals, uh, where we construct a collection object and then we infer parties and services from within those metadata records. Same story for the ANSLIC crosswalks that we've constructed in the Marine Community Profile crosswalk. So we've um, constructed data sets and then constructed parties for the responsible parties within the ANSLIC. And similarly, where there have been connections to other services and publications, websites and other objects, we've um, been able to indicate those as well. Here's um, just a nice scenario that we have with the National Computational Infrastructure where uh, we had a provider, a term provider, emast, uh, providing metadata just in CSV format to the NCI, where they had a tool to construct the uh, ANSLIC out of that. And then from their geo network, we've been harvesting uh, the RIFCS, which has gone, that's because we've had the crosswalk on their side, um, and that's been pulled out by the term data discovery portal and similarly by us. But same scenario, because we can um, obtain other metadata schemas from that geo network too, that's the option there for people to harvest not RIFCS, so ANSIC, for example, um, Marine Community Profile via either the OAIPMH interface or via the catalog service for the web interface implementation. Um, and so we've constructed a heap of supportive documentation, uh, specifically detail for a data source administrator to be able to implement um, or configure, sorry, a harvest over a CSW or OAIPMH where a crosswalk um, need be applied. 
when harvesting metadata schemas other than RIFCS. Yeah. Uh, so far, as the documentation will indicate, uh, it's been quite a partnered approach. So you, a data source administrator would certainly rely on the outreach officer and services for configuring a crosswalk and um, applying it to the feed. But for the next release, there's going to be the ability to upload your own crosswalk. So that's all in progress too. And that's it from me.